Hi everyone. I had an email from a friend who's an aide and she's in different classrooms with different teachers and sometimes with different students. And she said, you know, sometimes I have these kids who have so much energy and the teacher wants it quiet, quiet, quiet. And other times I have another class, the classroom's loud and the student needs it quiet. So what could I do as an aide and honoring the different classrooms of teachers? And I thought that was a really great question. So for the the student who's kind of got the repetitive nature, um, one thing you can try and you can carry along with you in your bag of tricks is a pencil that's got a sponge roller at the top and you don't put it all the way to the end and they can just tap, 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 you know, and it doesn't make any noise and drive that teacher who wants it really quiet. It doesn't drive her crazy, right? Another thing is you can ask that teacher privately if you can give the student a piece of gum and make sure you collect it at the end of the period so that they're not thinking they're spitting it out somewhere or doing something wrong. You can also carry some different kinds of manipulatives um, that they can keep under their desk. Other things that I've tried, um, you can have Velcro, like the soft and then the hard, like two inch strips all on the inside of their desk and they can just run their fingers around that. I've also done that on the perimeter of a carpet square. So when the student has to sit down, they can kind of be rubbing their hands along that and sometimes that can help and you can carry those, at least the carpet square you could carry to another classroom. Um, if you have um, a student who really has, um, really can't sit still, you can have them straddle their seat, sit side saddle on one knee, the other knee. Um, you can always ask the teacher if they can, you know, carry some books down. I used to send students all the time to the library or to the office. I just check this off and send it back with the student. Just having them carry um, some books down the hallway and back kind of gives them a little bit of a break. I had one little guy who I used to have him do push-ups because he wanted to be a soldier. So I would say, go ahead and do push-ups. He would do his push-ups. I had another little guy who loved scissors, literally just scissors, scissors, and I uh, love the color pink. So I had a plastic bowl on his desk all the time, and he would just shred. I told him I was having a baby shower for a friend who was having a little girl, and I needed confetti. So he would just sit and cut, 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 all that paper. But you could kind of carry something like that back and forth to a class, like a plastic bowl and a piece of paper for someone to shred, and that kind of a thing. For the student who needs it quiet and they're in kind of a louder classroom environment, you can carry this, I suppose. Um, I had these in my classroom and it said the quiet cone zone. And you teach the students that this is sort of a polite wink to your friends that they place this on their desk. It's in a central location in the room. They place it on their desk. It's a way to say in a nice way, I need it a little more quiet at our table. If everyone could just kind of be a little more quiet. That might be a way for everyone to kind of honor that he or she is needing a little bit of quiet time. Um, sometimes just having them write on a different texture can help and maybe if you can scribe onto a worksheet or something that they're doing just to give them a little uh, different kind of an experience. Another thing my students loved in my classroom, um, we used to call them palaces, so the, for, you could carry this I guess to each room and just ask the student do they need to kind of have a little you know space and you just put it around their desk and they feel kind of cozy in there and they like it so um, those are some ideas I hope they help um, with different kinds of students in between different kinds of classrooms thanks